Just a disclaimer, you're probably going to need to turn up the volume of your device for most of my videos because you probably cannot hear me very well because I'm recording on uh, my iPad and those do not have very good audio recording. Spoiled kids. We all know them, except maybe you don't. If you don't, then there's a good probability that you're the spoiled kid. They're fine as long as they don't get annoying about it. That's not the case with the kid down the street from me and his older sister. I'm going to try my best not to say their names. It's really hard. This is like my fourth try on it. What? All the other three times I said their names. So I just deleted those. This kid and his old his, this kid is in the first grade and he has a cell phone. He doesn't even need it. Like the only person that he really contacts is this as uh, one of his friends and one of in that friend is lives right next door to him. And his older sister it, it's pretty much the same deal for her. I don't even think she really contacts anyone with her phone. And she has her own laptop. Why did she need a laptop at in third grade? That doesn't make sense to me. The older sister isn't really annoying, though. So I'm just going to mainly talk about the younger cousin. Not cousin. His, their younger sibling. I'm going to try super hard to not say their name. This kid, when I'm playing with my, with my friend, when, I, when I'm riding my scooter down the street and playing with my friend, this kid, like, legit went in my way, so I had to stop, and then he told me, play with me and my friend that I mentioned earlier. When I told him no, he got super mad and said that I couldn't play with my friend. Like, uh, yeah, I can. I, you can't tell me that I can or can't play with my friend. And, <coughs> uh, but I, earlier, I decided that, uh, I was gonna try to go over to his house. And when I did, uh, these were his exact words. Go away and get away from my property. Like, he, he's, uh, he stopped me in my tracks, demanded that I come over to his house, and when I did, he he yelled at me to get away. What the heck? And uh, my younger brother, one time, my friend, my younger brother and I were playing uh, football with one of those uh, Nerf things that makes a that you can throw really far and makes a cool whistling sound when you throw it. And he demanded that my younger brother plays with him and friend that I mentioned earlier twice. Like, and uh, he tried, and he lied to my dad saying that my younger brother agreed that he would uh, play with him and then didn't do it. Then when my dad asked my little brother about it, he said that uh, the annoying kid never said that, and they're always urging us to play with them, saying, like, our football is better than yours, even though their football is literally falling apart and ours is in pretty much perfect condition. And the one time that stands out to me. You know how earlier I said he yelled at us to get he yelled at me to get away from his property? Well this moron just walks over and get and goes into my friend's house while I was there. And then when my friend was like, dude, no one invited you. Get out and he said Well, well, your friend is here, so I can come 
here too. And this other time he came onto uh, our prop, not our property, my friend's property, the same friend from uh, the first story, I mean the last story that I told. And this kid legit started, and his friend started throwing balls, chucking balls at us for literally no reason, and when we said stop that, they ran away. Who does that? Okay. Uh, I don't know if comments are disabled, but if they're, you can comment. Comment about your experiences with your spoiled kids. I love reading, uh, reddits about spoiled kids. So, uh, you can push them down in the comments, but my channel is gonna be kid friendly, so please keep out bad words. Okay. Again, thanks for, uh, taking 6 minutes and 15 seconds out of your day to listen to some, again, random kid on the internet. Bye.